Hi, it's Prime here from Niche Advice. Right, this video is really about auction finance and the five things you really need to watch out for when you're going for auction. Um, first of all, uh, obviously auction finance is something that is available for people that are looking to buy at auction. A traditional mortgage is normally not good enough because of the constraints around times. And also, a lot of the property you're buying in auctions are generally maybe not be suitable for a mortgage. Um, but certainly the timing is important. You No lender is gonna to commit to completing within 28 days. Um, so most people tend to go for auction finance or bidding finance, uh, whichever way uh, they sort of market it. Um, they're fundamentally pretty similar products. Uh, so point number one, you've just gotta do your due diligence. Uh, more importantly, before we get to the finance side of things, you've got to um, get a survey done, I think, personally. You have to get a survey done. You have to do, you know, check through the legal packs, have a look through everything uh, before you look to um, go to auction and you know bid and the moment it's all online, so bid on auctions. Look at the terms of the, the auction. Some auctions have got 28 days, some auctions it's 56 that I've been dealing with. So 56 days to give you a turnaround, you know, that could open you up to a mortgage, you see. So, you know, have a look at the, the terms of the auction house. So that's number one. Uh, number two, uh, getting a finance, um, it's all to do with your background, okay? And uh, things like loan amount, things like loan to value, things like your experience all come into play. You can't have your cake and eat it, basically. If you're inexperienced, you can't have the best rates. If you're inexperienced, you may not necessarily get the best loan to values, okay? However, if you've got experience under that, then maybe you, you potentially get 100% financing because they may take a charge on a separate property out there. So, you know, uh, what I would say is um, do your research and find out really where you fit into the uh, the mold. You know there are uh, you know your own background. Speak to a professional uh, advisor like us. Um, but literally do your homework. Find out where you are in the spectrum of lenders. Um, you know there are very very good, highly competitive lenders out there. However, they may not lend. To, uh, on the loan amount that you're looking for. So they may have a minimum loan amount of 125,000 pounds or 75,000 pounds or 100,000 pounds. It's no good if you're gonna buy a property for 80K, okay? So there again, you're thinking you're, you're getting, you know, get a quote based on where you are, okay? So that's important. Get it pre-booked, get it pre-checked. So I suppose number three is get an agreement in principle. Speak to someone like us. Let us go and get you an agreement by the lender. Give all your documents in there. So there is no problems when you're looking to move. When you've bought that property, it's all systems go, you know, and, and you need to have done a lot of the homework beforehand. Number three, um, it, from when you're dealing with uh, uh, auction type properties, you know, the pressure is going to be on. So be organized. Um, know what documentations you need right up front know what the process is with the lenders obviously discuss it with someone like us about what is next what's required where you are with things um exit strategies okay so uh, i suppose the next point is exit strategies so what are you going to do you've got to have a plan when you go to auction okay i'm going to buy this property and i'm going to do this to it and i'm then going to rent it out or i'm going to get out because i'm going to add value okay so and there are there are different types of products out there so i'll give an example there's products out there where they will give you i don't know 30 percent or 35 percent loan to value sorry 65 percent to 70 percent loan to value of you purchasing the property but then they may fund 100 percent of the work so if you're buying something at auction and you're then looking to convert it into something else there are lenders that will pay you uh, the, the the works to be to be carried out so they will essentially loan you that money um, a lot of the more keenly better price lenders will say no we will not fund the works what they we will do is maybe give you 75 percent loan to value of gross value on auction products so um you know the the key driving point is being organized knowing what you're doing what you're doing with the assets if it's if you're going to turn a property into a hmo for example let's say you buy a three bedroom semi and you're going to turn that into a hmo what's your level of experience because if you're saying your exit is refinance can you refinance because a lot of the lenders out there at the moment will want some experience so what are you going to do if you don't have the experience can you go in with someone else 
Can you do it with your father, your brother, your cousin, a business partner? So get things ready and have that discussion because unfortunately, these are the problems that, that arise. And also, remember, for every person going in for an auction, there's 30, 40 people that will lose out on an auction, okay? So, you know, don't be disheartened by it, but do your homework on, on what you're looking to get. Uh, so then when you are, when you do find that property, you can really go for it. But, you know, you need to know where you are with yourselves in the spectrum of lenders out there and products available to you specifically. You need to get all your documentation sorted out. You need to do your research in terms of the type of properties you're looking to buy, the property itself, maybe getting a survey booked, maybe look at the legal packs. Obviously having discussions with a solicitor would be useful. Um, and uh, really being able to formulate an exit strategy, whether it's a sale, whether it's um, uh, a buy to let option or a, whatever investment option, you need to have all of those sorted out, done and dusted really. And, and also work with a broker and it's important I'm a big fan although we're brokers um, I would say go with any broker you can find you know any, any, anyone who's who's reputable do your research on the broker have they done this type of deal before what are they like go and have a look at their website are they authorized are they not authorized uh, and regulated by the financial conduct authority although some bridging doesn't need authorization if there's commercial if there's commercial aspects of it but you know you've just got to yeah, do your research on the people you're dealing with, the lenders you're dealing with, um, and, and, and make up your mind. Uh, and don't be short-sighted. Don't just look at rate. Don't just look at loan to value, okay? Uh, those things are being short-sighted in some aspects, okay? Look at the overall product, the overall um, uh, facility out there. Why, why are they giving you uh, a, a lower loan to value? And what's the reason beyond that? You know, because it's a very risky, uh, you know, when you're dealing with auction finance and auctions itself, it's very risky. I've had, I'll give you an example. We've probably financed three or four auctions in the last month that have succeeded. Um, uh, and, uh, three of them have been fine. One of them, the property had a, um, uh, structural problem with it. So the surveyor came back from the um, for the uh, for the uh, from the lender and said, "Look, it's got structural issues." Now, thank goodness, uh, and we're in the middle of it at the moment. Uh, the the property itself did have structural issues, but they recommended this as as full structural report, and the vendors have actually had that full structural report and actually have done some of the work to it. So. Um, that was quite good but uh, you've got to be mindful you know there's there's cracks there's structural you've got to look into why that property is being being sold at auction uh, always think think why have they put that property now if, if it's an absolute state and you'll know you can see but if it's a reasonably decent property and it's under market you've got to think well why are they doing it I'm, I'm, you know it's been known the properties have got problems structural problems I, I tried to do a finance for it for a chap uh, a few months back where I think he bought a property cash in auction and it was like on top of a coal mine you know and it was like oh no man a lot of lenders didn't want to do it I've been I've known properties that have actually gone to auctions and I've had problems structurally wise so but I've, I'm actually doing deals at the moment where people have gone to auction and they've bought themselves an absolute steal. I mean, unbelievably really good deals that have turned, they've turned, they're turning them around. And whether I'm just, I've got late to the picture and I'm just doing the refinance for them uh, because they're thinking of keeping it, or we've actually gone and gone in with the, with the bridge itself. So there are lots of, um, lots of options out there speak to people and um, get get some advice around that um, and and hopefully you found this useful thank you so much and please do like if you have by the way if you have found this useful share and do like and subscribe and comment and let me know what you think uh, and and some of the experiences that you've had at auctions how, do you buy regularly at auctions what do you do what's your strategy around auctions is it buying them and flipping them into a buy to let or buying them and selling them on Thank you so much and all the best. The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All